Good morning, guys. It is day three, Saturday, and we are looking at the what do you call that? Water tower of Gas City, rated one of the ten worst water tower fonts. Comic Sans. Just getting ready to go. We're gonna meet Paula for breakfast. I hope you like the air band. Did you like the air band? I bet you could tell my favorite was the Pandora's box. And that one happened to win. So, I don't know. I just have a keen, a keen sense of talent. So, uh, that was my favorite, as you can tell. Um, we are going to meet with Paula for breakfast at the Cracker Barrel right there, right behind us. Sorry. And then we're going to be on the road and hopefully maybe stop by and visit my Aunt Ruth Ann in Crown Point, Indiana. So let's, let's go. Hey guys, we are going to get Paula. Um, the Cracker bar Barrel is right here at the hotel, but Paula's in Upland. So... I'm, since I'm ready, I'll just go get Paula while Paulita finishes getting ready. And then, you know, we're, we gotta be right here at the Cracker Barrel, so it doesn't make sense to wait till we're both ready and then go get, uh, then go get Paula. All right, let's go. There are, there are no hotels in Upland, Indiana. Therefore, we stay at the hotel in Gas City, as you saw the water tower this morning. And then we drive in, it's, I think it's six miles to Upland. Some farm, uh, what do you call them, corn fields. The other night, we were driving down this road and we saw a car pulled over on the side of the road, it's dark. So I kind of slowed down, then the car took off. And running behind the car was a dog. And it was a little bit concerning. We were, we were wondering, did they just dump off their dog and start driving away? Um, dog was running after the car. Obviously he couldn't go fast enough. Um, or were they, did they see the dog on the side of the road and try to help and identify him or what? We're not sure, but that was a little bit strange. Okay, guys, we're at the Cracker Barrel. I smell fire. Fire. See the water tower, the Comic Sans font. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. I'm going to get some flapjacks. Hot cakes. <laughs> Saturday morning. Wow. Is that like a popular thing to go out to Everybody comes here because that's your choices are here and here. There's a restaurant down by the bridge that Cecil said it was really good. The bridge. The bridge I, I was trying to see it and I couldn't find it. It's on exciting. Its way to the Minnesota it took me a while to see it. I haven't been there yet. I thought it was it's like more under of a the cafe. bridge. It's not there for sure. People go there to study and stuff. I thought it was like under the bridge because the bridge just goes. Ooh. It was like under there. No. Yeah. All right, we're here at Cracker Barrel. You can't go to Cracker Barrel without playing this game. Play this game of Cracker Barrel. I got three left. I got three left. Three left 
is. You're just plain dumb. I'm just. That's what I'm looking at. Thank you. Okay, we got the pancake. Paula got the butter, so the blueberry pancake. And mommy got the pecan pancake. I feel like sometimes it would be even more advantageous to go to your advisor because they, that's your major, they're in yeah. their major, they're teaching classes in your major. Alright, so like, we're gonna eat now. Hey guys. Yeah, we'll see you Paula next week. For the next vlog when we go pick up Tori. Bye Paula. Thanks for coming. For coming. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pointing at you or not. Okay, one week. I love you, Paula. I love you too. Thank you. That's really good. See you in a week. All right. Goodbyes are never easy. Valparaiso, Indiana, and we went right by the college, and I did not expect that we would go right by it, otherwise I could have gotten video of it, but uh, we're going to Everything, should be there in about 30 minutes. Here's some what uh, Valparaiso looks like. Those of you who don't know, my parents went both went to Valparaiso. It's a university, college, and they met there, of course. So I used to have a car exactly like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it just got it? Uh, yeah. 2008. Well, mine was a 2010. I loved it, <laughs> except for in the snow. Oh. Oh, it doesn't look good, do good in the snow. snow. It, it, uh -oh. It's a sports car. Oh, uh -oh. Is it? So I got a CRV. Okay. <laughs> but I loved that car. If I could have kept both of them, I would have. Would have anyway. It. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Hello! Oh, hi. I'm so glad to see you. How are you? Oh, so are you. It's so good to see you guys. Hello! Hey. We see your pictures all the time on Facebook. Hi, Paulina. Hi, good to see you. Hey. I got what? What's, what, what's wrong with the house? We oh. got Zara outside. It's just Pete. Oh, paint, paint hanging, yeah. Like, it's not, know. it's not, uh, yeah, it's just paint. Oh. <laughs> Sister's uh, husband discovered Snapchat. Oh, oh, oh really? Uh -oh. Yeah, Larry. Now, Snapchat, oh you can get some, you can follow Snapchat a lot, and she sends weird stuff, just weird oh, pictures. That, Larry's doing it all the weird time. Videos. And it's, <laughs> he'll come up to us and go, hey! Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You gotta hey, be on guard, right? It's for horses. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, cool. put Zara outside, so okay, just cool. nobody will get jumped on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got a couple dogs. Uh, yeah. We just got up there. I hope nobody's allergic to animals. No, no. <laughs> and don't well, go in the basement. It's under. Oh, you're working on it? That's well, under destruction. It's the flood. This house used to flood really, oh, really bad. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, so you're trying to work on it.
it's, they fixed it. Like uh, after ten years, Lake County finally put in like a big sewers. They oh, used yeah. to have ones like this big. Now they're like four foot. Okay. Used to. I mean, it, I found wow. this, and I'm writing a book about okay my parents. Uh huh. Kind of like they're because if I do it just as a memoir mm -hmm. about him, it'll be kind of boring. Okay. So I'm gonna make it a. The bike and love story. Oh, how they cool. met. Oh. How he stole her bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I've <laughs> never seen him look that young. Right? Oh, like, I know. I mean, Isn't that incredible? I don't know if there's any more pictures of him. So these are like... These are like the articles are... about it. She pasted everything. And and your dad oh. had to have been like a little kid. Well, he was born in 40. So, Age 19. so did they meet yeah. in Chicago where they lived? Yeah. Or? Okay. They, he... Was my mom she was playing tennis with her friend Eleanor okay and I think it was Palmer Park which is around 111th Street okay and um, I, I have to look all this stuff up but um, yeah he stole her bike because mom's meter okay. <laughs> well you know hey if you, if you don't have suave you know, I didn't, you, you take her back. I mean, I, it, teaching teaching elementary school. Oh, you know, you always get the kid, the boys who the like you know dude. punch the girls. That's him. Cool. What year is that? I don't even know if it says. Three Chicago boys. Short stop, George Todd Hunter. Hmm. That's cool. He batted second. Well, he was 0 for 4 that day, <laughs> but... <laughs> so this is, okay, what team did he play on? Again? This was Finley. He was 19 years old. This Finley. So, well, an Ohio State League. Finley, Ohio. Finley, Ohio. Okay, folks. We just left Ever Dan's house on the road again and we're going to 394 in Illinois and they said uh, we're going right by Glenwood which is where I was where I lived as a baby so I don't remember it but this is the Glenwood exit here so What? That's one of them. Yeah, I lived in that neighborhood. So we should have about seven hours left. Okay, Tina and Andrew, does this place look familiar? Let me know in comment section. Does this place look familiar? Road dog <laughs> family restaurant. The family is your road dogs. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, this is it. This is it, guys. We went here before with, with Christine and Andrew. We have just entered into Wisconsin. We found this restaurant called Road Road Dogs. Road dog is the restaurant that <laughs> we stopped with when we were with Tina and Andrew. And I don't remember the. Oh yeah, we was it was after Scott's graduation. We were coming home with all of Scott's stuff, but Scott didn't come home with us. He went out to Europe, so we stopped here. It was really good, <clears throat> but I can't remember what I ordered. I could have sworn I had like steak and shrimp or something, but that's not on the menu, so maybe they had it last time, but they changed their menu, but Lena got chicken, and she liked it last time. Forget, forget that. So, I think we have six more hours. No, we, should, we should be... Four, four, four and a half to five hours left on the road. We're just trying to beat the snow. There's a forecast of snow, and we're trying to beat it. 
Hey guys, it's, well, it's 10.55, but it's almost daylight savings, so it's really 11.55. I'm at the rest stop in Wisconsin. I think we're two hours away from home. And just here to fill up my water bottle. Hey guys. It is 1.14 a.m. We're at the last um, rest area before Minnesota. You can see the moon in the moon roof. The temperature has been dropping. It's, right now it's 11, but it has been as cold as 7. Back to winter. Just getting one last stretch before we make the last drive. Getting pretty tired, but There we go. Thanks for watching the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe.